In this video, we will learn how to write a simple socket server in Java and also simple socket client in Java. The server side socket operations are first we are going to open server socket, we then wait for client request and create IO screen for communication to clients. Perform communication with client and at the end close socket. First, I will import java.net and import java io. And create a server socket at some port. I will use 1234 as a port number. And then I will create a server socket object and name it server socket and use new operator server socket and pass in the port number. I will pass in one, two, three, four. And I need to catch this exception, so I will strongly try and catch block with IO exception. Okay. And over here, I'm going to print stack trace for exception. If it is thrown, and then I'm going to after creating a server socket, then our server will wait and accept the connection for that socket s equal to server socket dot accept function and then we get a communication stream associated with the socket with and this will be output output stream output and i will get it from s dot get output stream this p is lowercase output stream and then i need a data output stream data output stream that will be dos data output stream and we'll use new data output stream and pass in our output stream Output. Now need to send a string back to a client sockets. And I will use dot star dot dot write UTF string hello from socket server. And after we send the message to the client, then we can close the connection. I'm going to do those dot close. And close output stream dot close. And Close socket. I just need to save it. And now I'm going to write a code for simple socket client. So we can run that client and it will connect to our this socket server. And when we get the connection to the client, 
over here when we are then we are going to get the stream so we can write the spring to our client and in our client we are going to print the message coming from the server and in our client i will open a new socket a connection to our server at port one two three four new socket yes and then new socket and pass in local host because i'm running on my local machine and then the port one two three four and i need to get the section hit so yeah strong we try and catch walk over here and then exception and catch io exception and in exception need to print stack trace and after creating a connection to server we need to get an input file handle from the socket and read the input that's gonna be input stream as input and that will be as dot get input stream to get our input stream and then i need a data input stream and i will name it dis new data input stream and pass in our as input the input stream and now with this data input stream we can read the server response and save in a string server response and new string and dis dot read udf and on our console on client side we can output the server response by using system.out.print line and pass in a server response and when we are done we can just close the connection and exit dis.close s as input dot close our input stream close and at the end socket close now first i need to run our server and then let me make sure this is the server i'm running so the, this is the server over here so i need to start our server first and run as, run as java application and then we can run our client Just run as java application and you can see we got the message from a server hello from socket server just need to end this and it's better if you print some message on the server side too that server is started for example i can go back to over here and over here before starting our server i will write system now starting server
and over here, system dot dot timeline waiting for line to connect. Now this looks much better. So starting server and then we get the message waiting for client to connect. And then we are going to start the client again and get the message from the server. We get the message from the server hello from sockets server. So this way you can create a simple socket server and client in Java. To keep on learning, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Awesome code. Keep supporting me and thank you for watching.